Right now, this tutorial is made for you to understand how to split your MIDI keyboard um, to play two voices in FL Studio. So the first thing you do here is you load in your layer from Mix here. You can just come to your sampler and go down to replace. Now with your options here, you go to MISC Mix and you click on layer. The layer allows you to put or one or more plugins together and you can play them together. Now, I'll come here and add the plugins I want to use. Now, I'll use a guitar and the ocarina. So let me start with the ocarina. Now, this ocarina is called Samsara Ocarina. You can hear the sound. You have this. Alright, so now let me get a guitar. Let me just pick any one for the sake of this um, tutorial, not to make the tutorial too lengthy. Alright, so let's use GS guitar. Strum GS2. All right, so I'm going to pick a jazz guitar from here. Okay, my blues, jazz blues guitar. You can hear them. So the two, in two instruments have been introduced. Now the next thing I would do is that I'll go to layer. And I'm going to click on layer then. I'll click on set children. Now before I set the children, I have to highlight the children I want to set. Now when I, what, when I, when I I'm talking about um, children, I'm actually talking about the VST plugins I want to use. So I've highlighted Ocarina and Strum GS2, that's my Ocarina and my guitar, so that they can actually be layered together here. So I click on set children. Now automatically, that would bring the two instruments together in this your layer patch here. You, if you listen to it, it's like you have a dual voicing, that's your ocarina layered on top of your um, your guitar. So how do we solve this problem? We actually want to split. We don't want a dual voice. Now I'll, I'll come here and click on the ocarina instrument. Click on settings and go to this spanner icon here. Now, what this shows us is um, a like a keyboard here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the octave from where I want your ocarina, my ocarina sound to start. Now, this blue line here tells you the key you're playing on and where you actually want that octave to begin with. So you left click and it brings me down to C4. That is, I mean, the key of C and my octave, we start from the fourth octave of the keyboard. So from here upwards, on the layer patch, you will have ocarina. Now let's go down to my GS drum and do the same. Now I'm going to drop this to three and we've got in our root now the next step is to highlight where you want it to start from and where you want it to stop so i'm highlighting from three to four sorry about that so from three to four here let me take this back good then I'll come back to the ocarina and do the same. I'm going to highlight from 4 to 5. So 3 to 4 now is for the guitar and 4 to 5 is for the ocarina. Now let's see how it sounds in my layer patch here. I raise this up so you can see the keyboard instrument. So you can see. But when I go to the octave lower, you can hear the guitar sound.